Hi, y'all. Thanks for joining Serving Up Plumbing with David Butler. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most used pipes in the last 40 years for drainage and water piping, PVC, polyvinyl chloride. But first, please make sure and hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Now, let's talk about how to put PVC pipe fittings together, the proper way to do it, a few things about the code on it, and what you shouldn't do with PVC. All right, let's get to PVC. Here we have PVC fittings and PVC solvent weld cement. Now, we've had other videos that talk about CPVC and PVC. This is PVC, polyvinyl chloride, whereas CPVC is chlorinated polyvinyl chloride. PVC is not rated for hot water. CPVC is rated for hot water. This is PVC. CPVC is a more tan gold uh, with gold stripe on it. And as you notice, PVC is white pipe. So as you can see with PVC, just like with copper and PEX and all of these fittings, you have all of your different types of fittings, male adapters, T's, 90's, female 90's, couplings, you name it. Any fitting that would be in copper or anything else unions, we have them in this. In fact, we even have this really cool fitting that's called an extendable coupling that they use in PVC. This is great for repairs where you don't have the ability to move one end or the other. You can shorten it up, put a coupling on one end, put it in place, glue one end together, and extend it out to the other. And in fact, even after that, you can do it this way so that you can keep the water from flowing through while you're doing a glue joint because it has a removable union. So we used to call them, you older guys might know it as a slip fix. A lot of the guys now just are clueless when I say that and they call it extendable couplings. But these can come into play really well. I've used these all the way up to four inch. About glue or solvent cement, I know most plumbers say glue and primer. The actual term for this is solvent cement because what it actually does, it dissolves the surface of this and solvent welds it. It actually makes a chemical weld between the fitting and the pipe. There's a lot of different PVC solvent cements on the market. This happens to be OD. This is UniWeld. There's Hercules. All of them are great products. I have yet to see a bad solvent weld cement. There's different bodies. You see, this is medium clear. This is medium blue. The primer stays one particular, and it's real thin and watery. You have purple primer, and you have clear primer. Why do we use purple primer? Well, you have to use purple primer on PVC pipe because that way an inspector can know that you used it. PVC pipe is required to have a primer on it. You can kind of see it's got a shiny glaze on it. But when we use the purple primer on it, it cuts that, softens the surface, and prepares it for the solvent cement to bond those two fittings together. As you notice here too, we have medium, we have primer, but on this you see rain or shine glue, and this you just see medium clear PVC cement. Well, oddly enough, a lot of guys think that this is gonna set up faster and quicker and harder when you have uh, maybe a water pipe to repair. But in reality, if you read the instructions on the back, this one sets up exactly the same time as this one. And the thing we have to worry about here is a lot of things come into play. How hot it is outside, how humid it is outside. If you're down in a hole, where you're dealing with a lot of moisture because the ground's been uh, saturated by a leaking faucet or a leaking pipe. All of these things come into play. You need to make sure you have a good dry glue joint that you're putting together. No water running through it. You need to figure out a way to get the water to stop. This one and this one have the exact same requirements even though this is rain or shine. Even hot glues. Now they do make some glues now. I saw Odie uh, recently at the wet show advertising one that sets up very fast. You have to make sure you're purchasing a proper glue if you want it to set up faster. My experience has been most PVC solvent weld cements take a minimum of several hours to set up and cure for standard water pressure. Now this glue and this glue, believe it or not, say the exact same things on the back. They say, hold together for 30 seconds. That means when you glue it together, you make sure and hold it together for 30 seconds when you push it together. In 15 minutes, it's ready for handling, which means you can start moving it around and doing things with it. And it's not ready for pressure for at least two hours if it's above 60 degrees. Now that means if it's lower than 60 degrees, it's gonna take longer. 
if it's 110 degrees outside, it's going to set up faster. And the other thing that comes into play, the larger the pipe, the longer it's going to take to set. We recently had a problem with a pipe that was two inch. We had real high pressure in the area and it kept blowing apart. We even let it set 10, 12 hours and it still blew apart once we pressured it up because the glue wasn't setting properly. So you have to be very careful. The longer you can let it set, if you can let it set overnight or 24 hours, the better off you are because the last thing you want is to glue this together, put the pressure on it tomorrow and it blows apart. Now you're right back to where you started and you're starting over again. That's the one downside that I have with PVC is you cannot put it back together and put water on it immediately. With PEX A, PEX B, copper, even uh, fusion welded polyethylene, all of those materials, the minute you finish the joint, you can immediately turn the water on. But with PVC and CPVC, you have to let that solvent weld cement do its job and cure out before you can turn anything on. All right, we've talked enough, so why don't we put a piece together? All right, now we've got our lids loose on our glue, and you notice how thin the primer is. It's very easy to be messy with this. This glue's a little thicker. It's bright, bright blue. That's the rain or shine. And this, as we noticed, is clear medium body. My personal preference is medium body clear glue. Favorite all the time. The only time I use the rain or shine is sometimes on smaller water lines. And this is great for condensate drains, the rain or shine is, because we're often dealing with low pressures, but a little bit of water in the pipe. So we're gonna primer them first. Now, one thing about it, you don't wanna be messy with primer. I always say, turn the fittings upside down and run the primer brush upside down. Let it dry a second and run it upside down. Why? Because watch this, if I'm running it on top, and I get any on the outside, if I've got much on it at all, look at there. It runs right down the fitting and makes a total mess. Very ugly plumbing. It makes it just look like you did a bad job all the way around. It may hold water just fine, but it really looks ugly. So, to keep from doing that, and look at there, how easy it is. I splashed it on my other fitting because it ran down that fitting. Turn it upside down, run it that way. Do the same thing with your pipe. Hold your pipe upside down and run your primer on it and don't primer it any further than you have to for the depth of the fitting so it shows just outside the fitting. You do want to make sure and primer it far enough down that the fitting will not be covering all the primer. Also a good gauge is if it removes all the lettering, you've probably got it clean enough. Make sure there's no dirt or anything else on it, primer it really good. You don't have to spend an hour sitting here rubbing this around. Be very careful with your primer. It is very messy. If you're inside a house, this should all be in what I call a containment vessel, a small bucket or whatever. You should always keep your primer and glue in a bucket. That way if you spill it, which this happens all the time, it gets spilled. I even had a guy spill it all over himself one time on a plumbing test. Make sure that you have this contained. You don't want to spill this on someone's carpet or white cabinet or their tile or grout. It's going to permanently stain it. So we've primered it good. We've got our fitting primered. Now, Take off some of the glue. You don't need that dauber completely full of glue. Especially in a fresh can, it's going to have an extra lot of glue on it. Make sure and coat the pipe all the way around. Put it inside your fitting. Make sure you get it. Then you're going to put it in, push it, hold it, twist it for 30 seconds. Turn your lettering up where you can read it. Hold this for 30 seconds. Then after it sets for 15 minutes, it's ready to be moved around. Again, I put a little extra primer on there. That's higher than I would ever want it to be. 30 seconds. It looks good. Now, don't do that. Again, holding it upside down, putting your primer in from the bottom up, get all the excess primer out of your can, get all the excess primer out of your brush, let it flow back in the can, upside down, we're primering, and we have a good looking system. Same thing, we've got a lot larger fitting here, but we still wanna do the same thing, upside down, that way, let it dry just a second, flip the fitting over, upside down, and you can do both sides of the fittings at one time with the primer. It's okay if it dries a little bit. The primer does not have to be wet for you to glue the fitting together. Now, you don't want to let it set two or three days, but you can let it set five or 10 minutes if you're working with fittings. You've primered it, you've cleaned the surface. We've already glued together this fitting. We know that we want to be careful. These are smaller fittings. They glue fast, they set fast. What happens when you get into your larger fittings? 
Well, first of all, when you cut it, most of the time with our larger fittings, we can't cut it with quick cuts like this unless you have a really big pair. And they do make them large enough to, but we don't have any. So we're usually gonna cut it with a Sawzall, which leaves burrs on it just like this. One of the main things it says in the plumbing code, when you cut PVC, you must deburr it. And what that means is these burrs right here. You wanna make sure and get all those off. I have actually run cameras down line and seen all of those shavings hanging down in the pipe. What does that do? It catches hair, it catches paper, catches dental floss, all kinds of things. And once you start hanging up that stuff, it just builds up and builds up. So make sure and always deburr your pipe before you glue it together. My ideal thing is have a good pair of leather gloves. I have rubber gloves on here just because they're quick and disposable. These make your hands soft and sweaty. Get you a good pair of leather gloves. You can get primer and glue on them. It won't hurt anything. You can deburr that pipe really well. Now, we need to primer the big pipe. Again, if we primer it this way, it's gonna run all down the pipe. So, upside down, primer in your pipe. Make sure you get it all the way around it. Another item here is a little tidbit. Reach your two fingers around and grab that right there. This is just soldered in the top of the cap. I see guys break these brushes off all the time. If you'll just put two fingers around it like that and get used to holding it that way, you'll never break that brush off. And that's what a good primer fitting looks like. And if you'll notice, it's gonna be exposed just about a quarter inch above my fitting. We've got a good primer fitting there. Now, we turn it upside down. We're gonna put our glue in here. We set our fitting down. We push, give it a quarter twist so it spreads the glue out good. Notice it's trying to back out. That's why you have to hold it together for 15 seconds or 30 seconds. The hotter it is, the less time you'll have to hold it together. The cooler it is, the longer you're gonna to have to hold it together. And the more humid it is, the longer you're gonna to have to hold it together. You need to always watch your fittings and make sure that they're not pushing out. I'm slowly letting pressure off of this. It appears to be holding good now. Make sure you've got glue all the way around your joint. That's a good glue joint right there. It ran all the way around it. Inside the pipe, it looks good. That's what you want a PVC joint to look like. Some guys want this primer line a little further back, and that's okay. I had one plumber that was so good at it, he could dang near make where there was barely an eighth inch at it. Uh, he'll know who I'm talking about if he's watching this video. And he did a great job. So you gotta make sure and be careful though. You gotta make sure you hold it together long enough. Again, more humid it is, the more likely it is to push apart. And that's how you put together a PVC fitting. Now this happens to be a DWV drainage fitting. If you notice, it's not near as deep. When you're using pressure fittings and they have sharp turns, the socket in them is gonna be about twice as deep. We don't use pressure fittings on drainage lines. So that's what you do to glue PVC joints together. Be neat. Make sure your lettering's showing on top, and don't spill primer all over everything. One last tidbit. Always put your caps back on your glue really tight. Somehow primer will leak out so easy. If you leave these caps loose at all, make sure you crank them all down tight. Sometimes you may even need to take your channel locks, put just a little bit snug on it, just like that. That way, it doesn't spill all over the place riding around in your truck. You can see what's already over that can. It's running around the top. Take your rag, wipe off the excess, and you're ready to go on and take it home. Well, as I mentioned, and as we found out now, PVC's been around for about 40 years. We've been using it for a lot of drains. It's a great pipe for drainage under homes, under buildings, under commercial buildings, you name it. It's also a great pipe for water lines, for lawn sprinklers, and other uses. Hope you've learned a lot in this video. Hope now you know how to put it together. And I hope you watch the other videos coming in the future. Thanks for watching Serving Up Plumbing. Give it a thumbs up. And remember to tell your friends, the butler did it.